Well, people, I am back, and I'm going to make my first flashlight video, which is right there, the through through night flashlight. We're going to be doing a review on that, and I do plan on putting many more videos up. I'll get back into the swing of things here, and probably do the astronomy flashlights and some other adventures. And I thank you in advance for your subscribers that are watching this and had waited so long and had written me in and things like that which i really didn't even reply to anybody and i do apologize just a lot of things going on in my life so let's leave it at that and hopefully you'll continue watching videos and i can help people out so let's get rolling all right here we are people what i got in front of me here is a through night bss v4 this is a weapon light with a, a mount and a thumb presser switch to go with it what I'm going to do is cover the specs on it quick. What all you get with this flashlight, and I'll provide the link down below for the light itself if anybody's interested in purchasing it. We'll go outside, get some good beam shots of it, and see how this thing performs. All right, before we get going on the light itself, I'm going to cover the modes and what you get with it. Uh, there's a Firefly, which is 0.54 lumens, and that is right there. An incredible amount of runtime. You're talking 56 days with the provided 3100 milliamp battery. And by the way, the UI on this is pretty neat. You got your rear tail clicky and then your front clicky that goes through the different modes. And you got low, which is 33 lumens, 55 hours. Hold it down. You go to medium, 350 lumens for four and a half hours, which is incredibly bright. High. 426 lumens, or I'm sorry, 1,426 lumens for 156 minutes, and then, and then you go to turbo, which is 2,300, I'm sorry, 2,523 lumens, that'll run for 125 seconds, and then it'll drop down to 614 lumens, and of course there's strobe on there, which we won't cover that. Uh, max throws 250 meters, uh, IPX8 water resistant, you can drop it in water, impact resistance 1.5 meters, and this is running the SST-70 the SST emitter, which is a very wide beam but puts out an immense amount of light. And this is the battery it comes with the 3100 milliamp hour battery. These are it's 11.18 watt hours. This is a high discharge, very good battery that Through Night provides with these and their other flashlights. It's an 18650. It does come with a red filter, this glass filter. These are very high quality for say night hunting or whatever. We'll be testing that out. It still is running a USB uh, micro charger uh, you get a lanyard with it through night's heavy duty case and here is the pressure switch which is pretty awesome you stick that on the side of your gun to turn it on and off pistol or whatever and this mount I really like this mount I was just looking at it and what I'm going to do is hook that up to my uh, 22 pistol just to give you an idea what the light looks like on it and then you get a clip for the flashlight to put on a belt clip uh, so far I really like it. It's got this strike bezel on the front, which I'm pulling that off now. Uh, you can sharpen these things and they're pretty wicked for self-defense. Alright, I got it mounted to my little 22 pistol, as you can see there. Pretty wicked. It's awesome, actually. I really like this mount. And you can mount it either on the right-hand side or left. What I should do, I think, real quick is put the, that red filter on. Because I suppose a lot of people be using that, say, for rodents and stuff. Let's get it screwed in there. And I'll put this puppy on high. I think that's downright wicked. Very sturdy. But you get the idea. Uh, very, very useful, that mount. Makes this light work great on, on guns. What to do here is put this through night on turbo mode. And we're going to take my temp gun, take a temp of it, and one, I got the red light on it, so I'm starting out, we're at 
72 degrees, 76, 79, it's starting to heat up. We're going to worry about up here by the switch itself. Oh, hold on, my daughter's coming, so i got to pause it. My daughter's gone, so I can finish this up. But anyways, we're at 80 degrees. I'm going to let it sit there a minute and see how hot this thing gets, and then we'll gun it. All right, the hottest I ended up seeing on it was 107, right up around the switch. And I do believe it dropped down. We're talking 106 up, up towards the top. But it seems to be pulling the heat away from the emitter pretty good. So that's a good thing. So it's definitely not going to burn you. It does get warm to the touch. That's turbo. Again, it had dropped down after the amount of time from turbo to 600 and whatever it was lumen. So pretty neat. Tell you what, let's go outside and get some beam shots of this thing. All right, for starters, it's cold out. It's about 11 degrees. I got the red light on, this BSS V4. And it, that tree there in the front is 62 meters away. And it's barely hitting it, but you can see it. But if you look in front of it, you're looking at about 30 meters. It takes a nice wide swath, and you'd have no problem seeing an animal with that red light on. I just wanted to show that quick. Now I'm going to switch over to the white light. Look at that thing. 62 meters, it lights that tree up no problem. And this nice wide swath is what I like about it. And it punches out quite far, which we're going to find out. That tree down there is 94 meters away. And them tree line back there is upwards of 140 meters, them pines. And it's hitting them pretty good actually real good you go up farther back and you can see the over 200 meters you can see that hillside up there that's uh pretty awesome let's try pushing it up here same thing it's pretty nice but we're gonna step it down Actually, I'm going to let it drop down, and it'll drop down to a little over 600 lumens for, I think it was 130 minutes, like 642 lumens. So, it's actually keeping my hand warm. I think it drops after about 130 seconds. So. It still hasn't dropped down. It's been over a minute, easily. I think it's gradually dropped down. Let me see. If it has, right there is the 600 some lumens and it's punching out quite well. I'm gonna shut it off and turn it back on. Yeah, it did drop down. So let's drop down to the high mode. That's the low mode right there and medium it's punching out pretty good even on medium 300 some lumens uh, basically forever runtime it's hitting that tree at 94 meters on medium and there's high and that runs for a good couple minutes and then it'll drop down to 600 some lumens takes one wide swath, doesn't it? What I'm going to do is uh, put it up against some car headlights just to show you a comparison of that. All right, here's my car headlights on high beam, and I'm going to turn this BSS V4 on turbo. Completely draws out the car headlights. Car headlights, BSS V4. Car headlights, BSS gives you a good idea what about on high same thing car headlights the BSS pretty awesome all right there's the front of my house got the Christmas lights and that on I just want to point this out I'm probably about 50 meters back Man, this thing takes a wide swath, doesn't it? Pretty awesome. Ugh, my hands are very cold. Uh, that's about it for the beam shots. You get a good idea on this thing.
it uh, punches out a lot of light. One thing I want to throw in here, this here is my old Thru-Night TN14 flashlight. This is the one that started it all, and I've had this. It still runs. If anybody's wondering about Thru-Night's quality, I've had this light since 2014, and I think I put this video on. It's either 14 or 16, I don't remember. But this has been my daily flashlight. You can see how beat up it is. But quality-wise, you, you can't... I, I don't think you can get any better than what through night provides you for quality. Just want to throw that in. But as far as this light goes, one thing I didn't cover, USB, you know, or I'm sorry, micro USB charging port. You don't have to pull the battery out. You got your blue, typical blue light uh, indicator on the... Well, I get this turned down from turbo. Might be able to see it. Indicator on the, the front switch. Overall, uh, wicked light for the size of a one-inch tube flashlight. You've seen how much of the throw and wide beam this thing produces. And even at the, just the high mode, whatever it was, not quite 700 lumens, it outdoes a car headlights. Uh, you're not going to go wrong with this thing. So check that link out down below. Yeah, that is the Through Night BSS V4 Wicked Light. I'm very impressed with it. So there you go. Till next time.